three days lake trout fishing. We're going to see how it goes. Get away from these guys, apparently. <laughs> Very cool. We got a couple herring feeders here, smallmouth wise. I'm gonna make mental note of that <laughs> for sure. You guys can Ooh. see that's the fish right there. I know you're faster than me. Ooh, they like that. A bait ball came through. One of them left for the bait ball. Oh, I missed him. At the boat, he ate it. At the boat, he ate it. Mm. Oh, you got it. You got it. <sighs> Not another one. Two. He almost had it. He'll eat it. I thought he was going to eat it. This cool bait fish came by and he decided that that was probably a better chance than <laughs> than my bait. He's still over there. I want to go. I want to go. He went a little bit deeper. There he is. He hit it, he missed. He hit it, he hit it. He just got the tail or something. Short strike. If I get a lot of those, I'm gonna put a treble hook on. Uh, usually, Actually, I usually do run a treble hook, especially in the summertime. They usually, sh or a lot of times, I'll, I'll see them short, short striking. But so far, we haven't really had too much of an issue other than that fish. Let me see if he'll come back. I think I found something here. This seems to be coming up this ledge a fair bit to eat. And, I mean, we're running into a fair bit of fish, so that's good. Bigger one. Oh, he's not moving. Come here, buddy. <laughs> oh, he's right here. It's a little bit better. He hasn't run yet. I don't even know if he knows what's going on. You guys can see right there. There you go. Now, now he, now, now he's a. Uh, <laughs> Now he kicked in. Now, now, now the adrenaline kicked in. Uh, isn't that is massive? Oh my god.
Number two, guys. <laughs> Not giants. Like, they haven't really gotten on any giants yet, but definitely getting the rod bent. There's the bubbles that we need. There he goes again. <laughs> Just jokes. <laughs> Just jokes. So this one, I was actually, uh, I marked a fish, set my bait down. He didn't like it, he left, and I was running back up to actually grab lunch. <laughs> and I saw him come in, so I sent my bait back down, and he didn't hesitate. Definitely not easy netting these guys so low. There we go. That's a little bit better. Maybe a little bit longer. Not as cubby, but that's a little bit better. Look at how he ate that, guys. <laughs> Just absolutely choked it. Absolutely choked the Miyagi. Beauty fish. Beauty fish right there, guys. Look how beautiful the fish are in this lake. I'm gonna torpedo him down. Give him a little bit of a head start going back down to their depths, to their preferred water temperature. He is, let me just make sure he's good to go. Yeah, he's going down. Fish number two, lunch break. And uh, we're gonna give the afternoon bite hell today. See if we can get a couple of good ones. I'm not complaining, the lake trout are lake trout. And I, that fish gave me a fight, a fight and a half. It was a lot of fun, but of course we are here for, for a couple of big ones. You guys can see right there. He just, uh, that's the fish I just released. So he's a happy camper now. Oh, he came off. Came off. He did eat it. Good. Very good sign. Oh, he came off again. You guys see this? This guy's probably, what the heck is going on? <sighs> Come on. I know you want it. I know you want some. Yeah. 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 Stop. Am I am I like fouled or something? Again? He's slowing down now. Two times he already ate it. Well guys, uh, it's been a little while since my last fish landed. Just had two on the screen here. Um, one of them did actually knock knock my bait forward, uh, but but didn't didn't inhale. I didn't I didn't get the fish up. But that's kind of been the um, situation for the past little bit. So I'm about this close to tying a treble hook on a stinger hook. And just like that it is a little bit a little bit longer than what i wanted but you can bend fluorocarbon so i'm just gonna leave it rig like that and if i do get them by the treble hook it's just probably gonna pop out and we'll be fine so yeah that's that eat it oh he hit it 
he hit it. They're just like nosing it forward. <sighs> On with another one, guys. <laughs> the camera wasn't rolling, he came out of nowhere. Hey. And there he goes. <laughs> Little guy. I was drinking one on bottom and he uh, saw him up top. So <laughs> I reeled up and he was on. Not huge, but number three. Three at least that I brought to the boat, which <laughs> did have a couple that ate me that I totally screwed up, but it's okay. Sometimes when they bite, you just don't get them. He ate it. He ate it. Ready? Yeah, he ate it. <laughs> Another skipper. Hey. <laughs> I was looking at the one on bottom. It looks to be about three times your size, my guy. <laughs> There you go, little guy. I saw him under the surface while I was fishing for uh, his uh, grandfather or grandmother on bottom. There you go. There you go. <laughs> no matter the size, nothing beats a lake trout bite. That guy was actually uh, bitten on the fall. I ran out of room, so I opened up my bale, and he just came and clobbered it. I'm gonna try to get back down there quickly. The treble hook is stuck in the net, I should say. There you go. <laughs> and we are back. Alrighty guys, that is a wrap for day one of this little lake trout series. All in all, um, a little bit of a head scratcher, I cannot lie. Um, I 100% found some bigger ones, um, just, you know, comparing the size of the marks to the ones I've caught, but they just literally went in and out. So, I don't know if it's, uh, the bait or, or, um, maybe the presentation or whatnot, but um, I think I'm gonna try a couple of bigger baits tomorrow, so uh, that's gonna be fun. Had a fair bit of action today, which I'm pretty happy about. We're off to a good start. Uh, nothing over 10 pounds, but we had a couple landed, a couple hits, a couple that were on. So I think we're um, laying the ground here for a pretty sweet little fall lake trout fishing session. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, day one, and and um, yeah, I'm going to pack the boat up and I will see you guys tomorrow.